Hello, are you considering getting a Chihuahua puppy or maybe even getting a rescue Chihuahua? Growing up, we always had German Shepherds and then somehow we went totally backwards and now live with Chihuahuas for a very long time. So I'm gonna share with you guys my eight tips to know before getting a Chihuahua. Tip number one, Get stairs and ramps for all of the furniture on your house that you would like your little dog to have access to. So obviously this doesn't just count for chihuahuas, this counts for all small dogs. So we don't have ramps everywhere. Of course, we still have beds, quite a few beds all over the place that the dogs can lay on because we've got some extra little guys like Abe here who with all his might, he could still not jump onto this couch and make it. So um, he usually hangs out on a dog bed on the floor or if somebody's sitting on the couch, then we help him up and we help him down. Okay, tip number two is potty training. So you can definitely potty train a Chihuahua to go outside to use the bathroom. Of course, if you're gonna be gone all day and you don't have anybody to help take them out, you can still potty train them to use puppy pads in the house so that they're not peeing and pooping all over the place. So at least you'll have their potty mess all in one spot. You take to potty pads really, really well. Okay, tip number three is food. So with chihuahuas, you don't have to feed them a whole lot and it's really easy to overfeed them and then they get overweight and now you have all kinds of health issues. So. If you need help knowing exactly how much food to feed your Chihuahua, I would recommend talking to your vet. That's what I did with mine. Um, our vet recommended three tablespoons to maintain their weight. However, we do a lot of training here, so they get quite a few treats too. So I actually broke this down and we will only do about two tablespoons. And then of course, they're gonna get treats throughout the day too. So it's not like they're starving. You just do not want to go down that rabbit hole of accidentally feeding your pet too much, them getting overweight, and then you have to lose the weight, which is feels like it's just as hard as like a human losing weight. I would know I have been there with Lily. <laughs> right, Lil? That was fun, but now her weight is under control. Yes. Tip number four is grooming. All right, we have a nice variety of chihuahuas all lined up right here. So the short haired chihuahuas don't need a ton of grooming. Um, really, it's just their nails that you need to keep short. Now for the long haired little ones, of course it's the nails, but then you're gonna wanna brush them and they love being brushed. I would say well, these guys would be brushed every day if they really wanted to, because they love it. But I would say you could probably even brush them four times a week, every other day. It kind of depends on how active they are, because sometimes their hair on the side of their face, I've noticed this can get naughty. <laughs> yeah, I know, Belle. I've noticed that can get naughty. So if anything, just try to get that brushed out to prevent any kind of knots and snags. Otherwise, they stay really nice and soft and smooth. I haven't really noticed them, the long-haired chihuahuas shed any more than like any of the big dogs I've been around. You might just wanna keep their little butts groomed a little bit better too because like if they get diarrhea or something, it is easy for them to get little extra poop stuck on their butt. Now you gotta clean off all of that. And then sometimes they're not always happy. Okay, let's move on to tip number five. Okay, so tip five, we're gonna talk about harnesses and collars. So personally for me, I prefer to have them in a harness all the time whenever we're going out, only because if you've ever been around a little dog, especially chihuahuas, they have this tendency to do like this kind of like, it's like a reverse sneeze. It's like they start wheezing and they get into this fit for like a good minute, sometimes less, Girlfriend, what are you doing over there? Um, bonus tip, you might want to get more than one chihuahua so that you have moments like this. <laughs> I'm 
So I just don't really like to have, if, if we don't have to wear a collar, I don't do it. Um, only because I don't want to put any extra pressure on their necks and their trachea. They are still at it. So obviously though, I do own collars and that is because that will lead us into tip number six. We do a lot of training and we've done some agility trials. And when you enter a show, when you have to walk your dog into the ring to start performing all the tricks, you cannot wear a harness. You have to wear a collar and a leash. So it's not a big deal for me because when, when we're at a show where we barely ever wear this, we only wear the collar when we're walking into the ring we take it off to do our agility sequence or whatever else we've signed up for that day. And then when we're done, we put it back on, we walk to our crate, we're good to go. But like if we were to go on a, like a long walk or go walking around in a store, I wouldn't even bother putting this on. I would always put the harness on. So like I said, that leads us to tip number six, which is training. Guys, chihuahuas are really, really smart. Um, don't believe all the stereotypes you hear about them where all they do is bark and they're just lap dogs. You can totally train them to do all kinds of stuff and you can have so much fun with them. Who's going to come over here and show me some tricks? Lily? Okay, so we started off obviously as most people do um, in like a puppy obedience class. So sit. Very good. Um, we know down, we know twirl. Very good. Give me paw. Nice. So all dogs learn at different rates, even amongst chihuahuas. And like how Lily learned give me paw was not how Bella learned it. She learned a different way. Um, Gracie is our rescue chihuahua. And she did learn sit, down, stay, come. She recently learned twirl. Um, but it took her a lot longer because we had so much other stuff to work through first. But Lily has been through some tricks classes. Um, she's done CGC. We've tried Rally very shortly. And then if you check out our channel, we also do a ton of agility. And we started Barn Hunt. And Miss Bella is learning how to swim. She's in dock diving. So you guys, you can have so much fun with these little these little fellas. <laughs> they also really, really, really love figuring out puzzles. So these are by Trixie and they are amazing. They have so many different puzzles out there you can try. So obviously like you're going to want to take your chihuahua for walks, get them exercise, play with them, get them in training classes. But this is another good way to work their brains. And even just working the brain, you can get them tired for the day. So they love these. And we've got some more over here too. Okay, moving on to tip number seven is we're dealing with the cold if you live in a cold climate. So chihuahuas do not do all that well in the cold. So when you go outside for potty breaks, it's gotta be real quick. So some of them, it depends on exactly how cold it is. For Mr. Abe here, He's a little skinny thing. He don't last very long outside at all. So, I mean, it's quick. It's go out, have a potty break, come back in, maybe put a jacket on him, depending on what the temperature is. Now, I've noticed the long-haired chihuahuas, they tend to last a little bit longer outside. And so I can put a sweatshirt on them or a jacket and we can actually be out there for 15, 20 minutes and we can have fun running around the yard playing with toys. You kind of got to just use your best judgment, you know, exactly how cold is it? Because a few years ago, I mean, we had a polar vortex and that was like, forget it. We're not even going outside. Now, on the other hand, in the summertime, when it gets really hot out, these long haired ones seem to want to seek shade or seek air conditioning pretty fast. So like I said, you're just going to want to use your best judgment whether it is hot or cold out. It's going to depend on the dog and the temperature and the humidity and all of that. 
Okay, that brings us to our final tip. So the last tip is that chihuahuas have a really long life expectancy. I've read of these dogs making it into their 20s. Um, our oldest chihuahua just passed away earlier this month and he was 17 and his birthday is in September. So he actually, he almost made it to 18, which is so incredibly old for a dog. So as always with really any dog, um, this is, you know, this is a commitment and you're going to hang out with them even when they get old, right? For the rest of their life. Give them nothing but lots of love. My girl. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys interested in getting chihuahuas and I know we have a lot of chihuahua experts on this channel here so you guys if you have any other tips that I didn't mention please drop them in the comments below otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!